Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are back per usual today because we have a lot to talk about related to team of the season prices on this market because cards are falling out of the sky in price in the past couple hours. Basically, since the content drop yesterday, we saw a little bit of a rebound on some cards, but then everything else is just dying. Look at Fred. Fred was 550,000 coins yesterday. He's four. 30. These TOTS cards are so supplied, but they're also really, really good, right? Statistically, everybody wants to go out and use these brand new cards because they are hype, right? EA gave them really, really good boost, better boost than we thought. So I really think that just beyond this week, the next couple weeks in general, just how good these cards are, how great their stats are, and how cheap they're going to continue to be on the market as more and more of these come out, I think that it's going to change the entire landscape of the market in FIBA 22 with how good these cards are and how cheap they're going to be. So we're going to talk about a lot of that stuff today. Again, I'm not trying to tell you to sell the cards that you have in your team. I think the market is going to be very healthy for the next week or two. But then as we head on further in the team this season, we're probably going to see a different story. So we're going to talk about that today. Of course, the guaranteed team of the season packs have been kind of you know, we expect those, right? I feel like not many people have been talking about those because we just expect those to be dropped. Those packs are in the code. There's no leaks about when they're going to be dropping, uh, but they could come as early as today on Sunday. So I want to give you guys some insight onto the guaranteed TOTS packs, how you might be able to prepare for some of those with SBCs and just how the market might be moving with those. And I think they're going to do them a little bit different this year as well because there's a lot of really good Air Divisi TOTS cards this year, uh, and the Community TOTS cards, there's some really good ones in there as well. So I think they might require actually a little bit higher rated squads in those SBCs. We'll talk about that um, in a bit. And also, new squad battle rewards today. Uh, that's kind of weird, right? We heard some uh, leak conversations about brand new squad battle rewards. These, of course, are given out on Sunday mornings, uh, and we have some pack code, actually, that might tell us how these will be given out. So make sure you give a thumbs up to the video if you're joining Team of the Season and you're curious to hear about this market stuff. And as always, subscribe if you're new. Now let's look at TOTS cards and let's talk about what I started off uh, with in this video is how Team of the Season is going to change the market because I really think that with how cheap and affordable these cards are, like, I mean, this price blows me away. I literally sold Serge Nabry. I was buying him last night on the YouTube video at 130,000 coins and I sold him this yesterday morning at 160k. I bought right here, sold like right in here. He's down to half the price that he was. He's 80,000 coins. 80,000 coins for a four star, four star, 94 paced, 88 passing. This is ridiculous how cheap these cards are. Now, why is this happening? Well, it's a combination of the pack supply is always very, very high for team of season cards. So many people have saved up packs that they've been opening them this, this weekend. And the team of the season cards are in the rewards. For 14 wins plus in the weekend league, people are packing these team of the season items and the pack weight in general this year in FIFA is just so much higher than it's ever been. And we've always, the market this year has already been so much cheaper than it's ever been. So this is not something that is like super surprising, but still, when you see cards that are this good, that are 85K, I mean, this guy Carrasco with 96 pace, 94 dribbling, one of the best left mids, left wings in La Liga. Serge Nabry, like the best right mid in the Bundesliga. Fred with five-star skills uh, and a 91-rated Hullet Gang card is 430,000 coins after he was 600K on Friday and 500 and I mean, 600K yesterday even. Like, this card has dropped off so much in one day's time. So I really do think, though, that since these cards are so cheap, the impact that it's going to have is... People that want to play with cards in this game, of course, Team of the Season items are the brand new cards. They're the most hype. They're the ones that everybody wants to use. And EA, off of the first promo that we've had, the first week of Team of the Season so far, these cards have really, really good stats. EA have given skill move, weak foot upgrades. They've boosted the stats more. Remember the leaks that we had last week? These cards didn't look very hype at all. But then EA went out and they upgraded them even more. So people just want to use these cards, right? And again, that's how this game works. The old, the old stuff gets, you know, surfaced out and it gets upgraded out. And the new cards are all the hype. The new ones, the higher rated with the better stats as you get closer to the end of the year. But then, of course, with how cheap things are in this year's FIFA as well, I just can't help but see 
a lot of these TOTS cards working their way into people's teams and a lot of the out of packs market. So you have cards like Foot Birthdays, you've got cards like Future Stars and Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, maybe even Team of the Years. Promo cards that are up in price right now at the moment, right? We've taken a look at a lot of these items, like maybe some fantasy foot cards that have risen a lot in price over the past couple of weeks with their upgrades and even stuff that has risen up this weekend, right? Martinelli. How much is Martinelli? Is he like 580K? 565.70 right now. So he's down like 10,000 coins from where he was yesterday. Still very inflated, right? He was like 480K during that first hour of panic selling. A lot of your out of packs market is up. Not all of it, but a lot of it is up because a lot of coins have been introduced on this game. But like we've even been talking about in the past few weeks, I think that in the next week or two, you're going to start to see a turning point. Now, that depends on a lot of different factors. How good is the content going to be? Is EA going to run this week of content? Is it going to be a bad week? Is it going to be a good week? If it's a bad week, these cards are probably going to maintain their prices a lot better. Lucas Mora, still a million coins for his fantasy foot card, right? And as we take a look through a lot of the rest of the cards, maybe it's even a foot captain's item. Uh, let's say who's up a lot from foot captains. Robbie Keane is up like 100K from foot captains. Um... Abedi Pele is up. Lacazette is up. Jordan Henderson is even up a little bit. From Team 1 of Captains, you've got cards like um, Ben Yedder is up 100,000 coins. He was 800K. Mings is 283,000 coins. You know, not everything is up, but a lot of cards are pretty expensive. Gelson Martins, 575. Kamavinga, 439. Stones is 350. St. Max is still 4 million coins. But I really think that in basically in two to three weeks' time, uh, a lot of these cards are going to keep dropping in price because just with how cheap the brand new team of the season cards are, they're just going to get replaced. I know that some cards will still maintain their value a decent amount just because they're that meta and they're that hyped and stuff like that. But that's the general moral of the story. And it's something that we honestly see every single year. And again, I'm not making this video to tell you to sell the out of packs cards that you have that you're like, Nate, we just bought these cards. They're going up in price. I've got them in my team. I've got my tot squad. I'm making coins on it. Now you're telling me to sell. No, I'm not telling you to sell because I don't think you're going to see major drop offs on a lot of these out of pack special cards until the next three weeks from now. Like it's going to take a couple weeks to see a guy like Pedri or Lacroix or, you know, this, this Ferran Torres, a lot of these cards that are still holding value from previous promos, it's going to take a little bit of time for them to drop off. But specifically as, you know, like Bundesliga Tots comes out, is Bellingham going to get a team of the season card? That might make this version drop, right? Depending on what other center mids are in that have really good stats, that might make him drop because there's new substitute items that come out, right? That's, that's all that I'm saying. And as we take a look, you know, back even into FIFA 21, let me just scroll down really fast to uh, like a foot birthday card. Let's see, foot birthday, foot birthday Lucas. I know that foot birthday Lucas last year had a really nice rise after team of the season. Panic sold, panic sold, boom, he exploded. But then look, after Premier League Tots, he goes from 800, 700,000 coins all the way down the next few weeks to 300K. And that's just because more and more Tots cards come out. They have insane stats just like the ones that we're seeing this year. And that creates a lot of panic in general. And I think the same thing is gonna happen this year, even though this year's prices are incredibly different. And yes, foot birthday cards are very valuable and stuff like that. I just see that happening in the next couple of weeks and maybe even the next two weeks because of how just ridiculously cheap these TOTS cards are, but still how good they are statistically in this game imagine starting a road to glory in fifa right now just just imagine like it's not that hard to go and get you know 60 70 000 coins on this game maybe 80k and to get yourself even even a john mcginn a john mcginn special card right this guy's team of the season item is 50 000 coins right now for john mcginn tots a hullet gang center mid center defensive mid in the premier league with those kind of stats if you're starting fifa right now that's incredible. So, you know, that's just kind of how I feel about this market right now. Again, just, just a quick testament to how cheap the market is this year. Can we make this quick comparison right here, right now for you guys? Take a look at Williford Zaha, 300 and what, 70K, 380K, we just looked at him, 370, 380. Right now, Zaha, which in my opinion, this card is a much better item comparably to Harvey Barnes left wing from last year. They were both 92 rated, both in community team of the season. Zaha has uh, 98 pace, 97 dribble. 
91 shooting, 5-star skills. This card is more meta in this year's FIFA than Harvey Barnes was in last year's FIFA. This card was very good. But Harvey Barnes, look how much this guy was, man. He was five, 600,000 coins. He did drop into the 400k range. Then he exploded to 900k out of packs. That's not going to happen in this year's market, right? But he was 600 coins on the first weekend, 600,000 coins. And Zaha is half of the price and absolutely more of a meta card uh, in the game that he's in right now in FIFA 22. So that's just wild to me how cheap these tops cards are. Again, that's just how this year has gone. But I think that's going to start to impact the market in these next couple of weeks. Um, as you know, we, we haven't even gotten that many great SBCs yet. We haven't got, you know, guaranteed tots. We haven't gotten a crazy icon moments upgrade pack. The prime icon player pick expires today. Could that be replaced? We'll talk about that in a bit. So again, not to scare you guys at all. I still have a lot of out of packs cards that are on that are, that are in that are that are in my transfers, right? That I'm trying to make coins on, and I am making coins on right now, right? Uh, Fakir is bought in the 250k range. I sold a couple of these at 290 yesterday when he spiked up in value, right? So a lot of this stuff is still doing really, really good value wise, and I think it's going to continue to do really well. But the longer that you hold, the more risky you're seeing with those cards dropping off in value as we head through team of the season. So. There's that. I wanted to talk a lot about that in today's video because I think it's a very, very big point. Now, speaking of making coins, we have been making bank. I bought three Suarez yesterday, posted that on Twitter. I made like 300,000 coins on these three cards. It was fantastic. Um, overnight flips went great. I bought Nabry's and the 130 range sold for 160. Um, I got a couple lazies on Ferran Torres. That was great. Kochu was banging, man. I did take a couple losses on Busquets, um, but Kochu, I bought this guy on Friday night for like 42 to 45K. Sold them all in the 60s with one at 70K. Then I bought a bunch of Mazel Rise. Uh, where's he at? Right here. Oh, I sold I sold this at 397. Nice. I bought a bunch of these at like 23, 24, sold them at 35 uh, to 30, 34 to 35K. So that was a really, really big W. We made a lot of coins yesterday on this game. Um, and I'm just starting to get my coins a little bit more liquid from those quick flips that we made and seeing some cards go up this weekend. I'm taking some of the cash on those. Now, speaking about this weekend and content, I don't know if these SBCs are coming this weekend, like I mentioned, but the guaranteed team of the season packs have been added to the code. And we have to talk about this because this is content that everybody looks forward to during TOTS. Area to busy TOTS pack, community TOTS pack. It's basically you get one player from each of these team of the season squads, untradeable. Now, they're probably going to release these SBCs only once. In old FIFAs, they would release them twice. And last year, they had a very interesting method to the madness of when they released these. They would release the secondary league. So last year, they released the EFL TOTS. I think it was on a Tuesday. It was either a Tuesday or a Wednesday, uh, somewhere in the middle of the week. And then the very next day, they released the Community Tots Guaranteed. And they, they kept that same schedule throughout the whole entirety of Team of the Season. The Secondary League was released. And then the day after that, the Main League was released. Because what they did was they made the Secondary League super duper cheap to complete. And it basically gave you a free Team of the Season card. 82 rated squad, one England player. That's like 20k to do this EFL TOTS SBC from last year. Yeah, 14,000 coins. Then you got yourself, if you got a good TOTS card, great, you packed a good card. If you didn't, then you had a fodder item to then go and turn into the next day's SBC, which required a TOTS item for the 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 top league, the top league, the number one league that is out right, right now, it's Community and Eredivisie, so the main league of TOTS that is released. So... I think there's very, very high potential for that to happen again. But as you look at this year's Eredivisie squad, I don't think that an Eredivisie TOTS guaranteed pack is going to be dirt cheap. You've got a Graven Birch at 1.4 million coins, 1.39. He's dropped off a lot. You've got an Antony that is dropping a lot, but is still 205K. You've got a Timber at 178,000 coins. Now, the rest of the team is really, really cheap. It's still great items, but really, really cheap. So I think that they might make this Eredivisie uh, squad... For an Air Divisi Tots guaranteed, probably cost like an 84 rated squad. I don't think they'll require a team of the season for it. But I do think as a part of community Tots, it'll be interesting to see where they price this at. Because you've got a, uh, a Suarez at 1.1 mil. Then your next most expensive card is Laporte, Fred, and Zaha at 3 to 400k. And then after that, besides Yoris and Todibo, everything is under 100,000 coins. I still think they're going to require team of the seasons. I think they might make, make this an 86 rated squad though or 85 rated squad. 
and require a tots item just because of how low fodder is like if they do an 86 rated squad right now that's going to cost you like 120k and if they throw a tots requirement in there because tots cards are so high rated you're not going to actually have to use that many 86s you'll have to use a couple of them but if you have an untradeable tots card in your club you're looking at an item like holler 91 uh rated right 38,000 coins you have one of those untradeable which a lot of people are going to have especially if they do the air to busy tots guaranteed the day before, then they're going to be able to go buy some 84s, maybe a couple 83s and an 85 and get the SPC done for an 86 rated squad really, really cheap. That's why I think you might see EA actually increase the rating on the SPCs for uh, the main league guaranteed SPCs this year, just to kind of think through it that way a little bit. Uh, they might go ahead and do that. I don't know when these are going to be released. I think in years past, they would do these TOTS guaranteed packs on Sundays for the secondary league. Don't know if that's going to happen today for Eredivisie. I guess it technically can happen. Just watch the leaks. There's going to be leaks whenever that SBC is about to be dropped. So just kind of keep an eye out uh, for that and when it's going to be. Um, but I think one thing you guys can do right now is, and it's almost like the obvious play, but club stocks and fodder. 84s are back down to 4,000 coins. They were a little bit cheaper yesterday. We had a pretty good value Zinchenko and Nacho Fernandez showdown. So some of these cards yesterday were like low threes. Now they're up a little bit. But, um, you know, I, I think you'll be able to get a few of these on bid and they're still at a low enough price where you can buy them, right? Last week, these guys were all like 6K a piece. So I, I think it's a great time to club stock. Honestly, all fodder. Uh, if, if we get another icon player pick SBC today, I really don't expect EA to drop the prime icon player pick again. If they did, I think they would release it just like this and your lower tier fodder is going to spike up. Your higher tier fodder is probably going to stay really low. But if they release an icon moments player pick or some other sort of icon moments pack that is more than 500k, then that fodder that is 87 rated plus is going to see a bit of a rebound. So I would honestly... The safe route, what you could do is club stock a little bit of that fodder too, because, you know, regardless, it might go up a little bit later on this week as we get probably upgrade pack SBCs pretty soon, whether it's today on Sunday or tomorrow. Usually it's Mondays. So I, I would not expect upgrade packs today, but maybe tomorrow on Monday, people are going to be crafting SBCs. There's Todd's cards and packs. They're going to go out and open those upgrades, pack cards, have duplicates. They're going to go do uh, icon moments player SBCs are going to get some higher rated squads done for that. And just in general, people have fodder in their clubs right now. That's part of the reason why SBC fodder is so cheap because everybody on the weekend opened packs. My club is, is stock full of fodder. People open packs. They have this stuff, but there's not a ton of crazy tops SBCs to do yet. You only have Raspadori and then all the other ones are pretty cheap besides icon moments player SBCs. So I think I'm really curious to see today if, if EA um re-releases the prime icon player pick or if they step it up and release an icon moments player pick or something else like an icon moments pack again or something like that it would be a bit more expensive then you might see some of this fodder rise in price i think it could be a really good time to buy into a few of those cards again your only risk there is needing ea to drop sbcs during this week to make it go up so we're off to a pretty solid start. We don't have a lot of leaks about content that could be coming, uh, but I think that could change today on, on Sunday as well. We might see a few more leaks uh, for just content coming later on this week. Now, also, just really quick to shout this out. I think these SBCs are a W. I think both of these are coming in at like 90K to do this. Nacho Fernandez, great links, four-star weak foot, low high work rates, great card. Again, you hope for the potential plus two if they are able. I think... Uh, yeah, here it says it in the description. The club that advances to the final of the Champions League will earn a plus two overall upgrade. So that's a bit different than normal because usually what it is is the team that wins the game. But uh, technically, you know, if whoever wins in the second leg probably is going to go on to the Champions League final. But this, this wording in here is a little bit interesting for uh, showdown cards because usually it's just the final result of a game, not who advances on an aggregate score. So just kind of keep an eye on that. But both these cards look really good. Zinchenko is a prim left back with some really good pace, high medium work rates. He's 3-3. I mean, the, the physicality, you know, this looks like a great even 3-5-2, three, three, like a, a left mid and a 3-5-2 potentially. What's its crossing stat? 92. And at 90,000 coins, it's really, really easy to do. So I think these are a W, potential plus twos in the line, of course, for whoever and this big game upcoming this week. There's going to be a lot of eyes on these cards for potential upgrades in that regard. So W there from EA Sports. Like I mentioned, other Sunday content that I expect to come today. Um, 
honestly, it, it could be anything. We don't have a lot of leaks right now. Like I mentioned, the only SBC we have leaked, we looked at in yesterday's video, is the Carlos Vela. Um, I think that could change, though. I think that I think that EA is going to drop some good SBCs during TOTS. I just don't know if it's going to come this week during Community and Air Divisi because usually they really start the better content in Premier League. I mean, last year, Bundesliga and La Liga were incredible. So we'll see if they do that again this year or if they start kicking out some good SBCs this week couple new things that have been added to the code the team of the season moments car design has been added uh as we read on yesterday's video as well they're going to be doing under 23 uh cards or players that are u23 are going to be getting sbcs and and um you know showcased during each league of team of the season so that's the car design they would use for those and just the generic team of the season moments car design there um also we had a couple new packs added to the code and um I think this is for squad battles, lads. I think this is for squad battles. Now, we're going to figure this out today on Sunday because, of course, rewards will be updated. And these rewards, I don't think, are going to be placed out today. It'll be games that you would play this next week for next Sunday's rewards. Uh, but contains one foot champion player from the community or air divisi squad. There's another one of those that is capped at 90 rated. Contains uh, one foot champions player rated 89 or below. And then contains a team of season player from community on... Or, or Air Divisie on a seven game loan. So I think it's gonna be, you're basically gonna get a, like a player pick or a, just a pack it looks like, where you'll get a red version, a foot champions, a red card of a TOTS item from squad battles. So that's kind of interesting. Are they really trying to make people grind squad battles that much? I mean, right now, weekend league games, which I just entered, weekend league goes until like Wednesday, like legit Wednesday is when Weekend League goes till. So people are going to be playing Weekend League all week, trying to cram their Rivals games in to get packs and rewards for the rewards on Thursday. And then now we're supposed to play Squad Battles as well to get a chance at uh, red cards. I mean, the only W that I see about this is if you, if you didn't start your Squad Battles games yet, then you're going to have better rewards to grind for. Um, you know, I actually started my Squad Battles games, played a lot. I'm in Gold 3 right now. I never get Squad Battle rewards. Like, I never play Squad Battles. But um, yeah, so that's kind of interesting. We're going to have to see how that goes. I don't think I'm going to buy too many of the Tots cards to try to flip into this morning on uh, Sunday morning. I know there's a lot of demand for these cards. I know their prices have dropped down so much in value. Like uh, Anthony is like 200. Is he 210K right now? Yeah, like 210, 215. So, I mean, this card was, I was really selling him at 280, 290 yesterday. So, it's crazy to see how much these guys have dropped down in value, but it's because of the pack supplies, because of the weekend league rewards. I think they're going to stay really low today on Sunday and maybe go up a little bit into Monday. We're going to have to see, but I think that's going to be, you know, it's going to be a trial and error situation on Monday as well. We'll talk about this more tomorrow because the weekend league reward aspect um, has changed. The weekend league reward time frame has changed. Not People are not just getting their rewards auto claimed anymore on monday mornings when they used to we have a new champions uh foot champion schedule so that's going to change some things as well with how the market moves but we're going to cover it all this later this week and this weekend as things move on the market so i want to probably keep it easy with trades tonight maybe i'll buy a graven birch if he's like one three because that would be stupid cheap okay man there's a lot of undercuts here i think they're still running the late night lightning rounds too so again a lot going on in this game hopefully all the information found you well hopefully your weekend leagues are going well I, I wish you the best of luck i know it's sweaty out there i hope you get good reds which i hear they're kind of juice so with how cheap the cards are they better be juiced that's all i'm saying but if you guys have any questions please drop them down below in the comments and of course if you did not see it check out my premier league tots predictions video that was posted yesterday i'll leave a link to that down below in the description as well again if you enjoyed the video smash thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out